you know, it, it's it's a process. You know, and when there's change, there's change. So you got to go through the process. I'm happy to be back here. Uh, you know, obviously this is going in my 10th year here. So uh, anytime I can put on this red, white, and blue, I'm excited. That's four regimes now? Yeah. What do you think, what do you think the reason for you, you know, them liking you as each guy, new guy comes in? You, you know, that? all I try and do is treat people right and do my job. You know, that, that's, to me, I think that's the bottom line. I think you take care of the people uh, in the building. You handle yourself the right way. Uh, you try and be, in as, be a, as good a servant as you can to the organization. And, uh, and that's just been my mentality, just trying to help out guys and, and give. What you give grows, what you keep, you lose. So I try and give as much as I can to everybody around me. How would you describe the, I don't know, vibe in the building right now, the, the Joe and Dave all era? Well, just, just the vibe period is awesome. Uh, and it starts at the top. Dave's is awesome. He brings a lot of energy every single day. Uh, the players feel it. The coaches feel it. I think everybody in the building feels it. So uh, we're excited about the opportunity we got, you know, working with Dave's and, and the new staff. It's amazing how fast we've come together so quick, you know. I uh, feel like a lot of guys on the staff, we've known of each other, never worked with each other, but we've gravitated to each other quickly. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. Coach, everyone talks about the, uh, in the draft room, oh, the offense coordinator wanted this guy, the quarterback coach wanted this guy. What about the special teams coordinator and some of the guys that you wanted? And what have you seen so far from some of these rookies? You know, I tell you guys this all the time. Yeah, there are certain guys that I like, but my job is to make do with what I have. We're making gumbo every week, you know, so I don't have an issue. I, I don't have a feeling one way or the other. Do I like certain guys? Absolutely, right? But whoever shows up, that's who we're going to coach. That's who, whoever's in the building, they're going to get coached up to the best of their ability, best of our ability and uh, make sure that they're doing the little things the right way all the time. Uh, these young guys are doing a really good job. They're all working hard. They're all trying to figure it out. They're drinking through a fire hose right now. So we're trying to make it special teams wise. We try and make it as simple as possible to where they can pick the schemes up quick so they can play fast. So that's, and we can get an honest evaluation on them. So that's what we're doing with those young guys right now. You've got a new punter in the building. Coach, does a new head coach want you to do different things? No. I mean, it's kind of more the same, uh, just being consistent in our approach every day, making sure the players understand what we're trying to do uh, so they can execute, play fast, and, and have success. That's, that's the job. You've got a new punter in the building. Just some early thoughts on uh, Jamie Gillen? He's working hard. Like I said, he, he's, he's trying to figure it out, too. He's a young punter. You know, it's, it's not like this, this guy's like Graham where he's, he's been around for, you know, for years. He's still trying to figure it out. And uh, we're working every day with him. He's doing a good job of taking the coaching, and uh, he's very talented. Is he still that rugby style punter? He can he can do a lot of different things. Uh, obviously, he was a rugby player, and uh, but he can Jamie can do a lot of different things. He's a talented guy. Obviously, you made that you're trying to upgrade the punting, but is it party like you don't want to mess with Graham either? Like the holding, like how important is that? Yeah, it's extremely important. You know, the chemistry between those two is, is really big. Uh, your chemistry between your holder and your kicker, obviously, the, actually the whole battery is, is extremely important. And uh, they've been working at it. I had a good session yesterday, you know, on the sideline, and then we'll work again today. So it's a work in progress, and we'll keep working to try and get to back to where we were. You, uh, you, you envision uh, Wandale as an option as a, one of your returners? Yeah, I mean, Wandale's definitely an option. I mean, we got a bunch of options. We got like six or seven guys uh, that can return kicks and punch, which is, which is good, you know, creates competition. And I think these guys, uh, they're excited about it. You know, it's fun watching them back there trying to catch that lefty spin in the wind. So it's, it's, it's adventurous at times, but, uh, but it's good for them. It's going gonna, it's gonna to harden them, cow them up a little bit, and we'll be battle tested once, once we get into the season. Maybe get KG back there? I mean, I know we talked. Yeah, I mean, again, that's, year, yeah. I mean, that's obviously that's why, one of the reasons why he's here. You know, KT is a super talented guy with the ball in his hands, he's, he's dynamic. So again, it'll, it'll be fun just to see those guys compete for a spot.
With the roster turnover, do you look at the, look at the roster and say, I know I can count on this guy, this guy, this guy, or do you have to be a blank sheet and say, I don't know? Well, it's a, it's a fresh start for everybody, you know, and the guys that have done it before, you know you can lean on, you know, guys like a Julian Love and, you know, some of those guys, but some of these other young guys got to come on. And it's some of the guys that didn't get a lot of opportunities last year, and now they got to step up and take advantage of the opportunities they get this year. You know, so it, it's exciting to watch them grow, and uh, we're heading in the right direction.